quick flip through for you today. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Montag at the Lake. So I just did a process video and inspired this inspired me video on how I made all of these, but I've added a lot of pages to it since then, and I want to just quick show you before I move on and clean this up and to do a few other things besides painty papers. But this has been an absolute ball. I'm going to use one of these backdrop pages to cover this homely yellow dirty paint covered nightmare but not until I'm done doing what I'm going to do to it otherwise it'll just be a mess too so not much to say here it's just moving paint around using a variety of methods to do so I used a card too and I can't seem to find it here on the desk but you know just a gift card to scrape paint I use my brayer a lot my fan brush a round brush these brushes it seems to me I use this one the most because I'm impatient and it's big and it moves a lot of paint fast I did also fill in quite a few pages in my steno pad of unwasted paint that's a flip through for another day I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep painting pages and just paint all of them and then doodle on them. Or, I write a lot about creativity and I have my Journaling by Fives book and that is almost full. There's my card. My Journaling by Fives book is much the same. A lot of painty pages and some doodles some focal points and some words but I've been using this the flip side of it to journal about creativity an art journal a creativity journal like literally journaling and this is almost full I have just these few pages left in the in the back in which to write so I might do that same thing for this leave the pages that are there there and use the rest for writing we'll see I used basically the same eight colors plus black and white through the whole thing obviously I didn't do every single page Maleficent colors this one I even spattered some of that silver slash white gold metallic watercolor on top if you want to see this, there is a process video. I will link that below. Now the pages do get, because I, I tend to overlap, I tend to drip and get messy, and it sticks the pages together. But if you just go gently down the side, they'll open. They'll open up. And I try to do this after each painting session so that I don't miss a large chunk, because sometimes if it's a big dollop, then it won't they won't separate quite so easily. This happens. You don't want that happening. I mean, it adds a nice texture, one more texture, who cares? I quite like how some of these things happened and turned out. I'm, I, but this one I can see I need to do a lot of something on top. It's too busy, so I might gesso and throw it, you know, push that back a little bit. I might I got myself some new black Sharpies. I might just doodle a lot to push that busy background back further yet. I don't remember which ones I did on camera and which ones I didn't, so you're just going to see them all. And I just love the play of the color. Now, most of my colors are matte, not by design, just by happenstance, except for these two are not matte they're glossy i believe my black is also glossy and that's what you see here the shine that's the glossy paint and those will stick together if you're not careful if you use a lot of glossy paint then just put a piece of deli paper or wax paper or something in between a piece of saran wrap to keep the pages from sticking together or use matte paint these are my favorites. I just love these neons. This one got a little bit busy on me, but 
I just love the the things that are happening in these little pockets of color like that. So awesome. And this whole area, I just love that. This one I kind of see spattering and doing a sort of a galaxy thing, maybe a moon doodle. Oh, and it just feels so nice. It just feels yummy. This is just black and this dark cobalt violet from Royal Langnickel. This one's a bit busy, but I love the colors. Very, what would it be, 1950s, right? The poodle skirts and the vintage caravans slash camper trailers. There were all this, these colors. I just, I love this. Just black and white and some gray. Something simple. Maybe I can use my colored Posca pens on here. Maybe just white. I don't know. The point is, it's a work in progress. These are actually Maleficent colors, though it mostly looks black and purple. There are hints of green in here. And this one did stick together, and I got, I tore it because I got a little carried away with all my paints. That happens. Plus, these are the shiny paints, and so, of course, it stuck together. Even when it's dry, if this were to be closed and, you know, sitting on the shelf for a long time, these would stick together. So I'm going to have to remember to put a piece of deli paper in between here when I put it on the shelf. Otherwise, it, it will stick together. Completely different color palette. But I love it. Again, the sherbet colors that I like so much. Lots and lots of color play. So fun. So maybe writing in the white spots. Maybe journaling in the, in the colored spots. And doodling on the white spots. Maybe graffiti. Maybe lots of lettering through the whole thing. If you didn't see the this inspired me video these are completely this this notebook is completely inspired by Alyssa Burke and her wonderful doodles a lot of her videos she'll she'll be flipping through her book looking for a page to work on and every page is painty like this and every time I see one of her videos I just go oh I need a book that's full of color like that it just it just is so beautiful to watch just to flip through it you don't have to do anything else to it just flip through it and it, it i just love it again something completely different my backdrop is so messy these are just rings from a laundry thing over and over and over again different colors and these are a pencil eraser brand new pencil eraser dipped in paint and dotted one of my favorites i love 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 these colors this is really cool this was one of my favorites that i did just all the rounds in the bright colors and then circles with the black and then i got out the white pens and i started just doodling because i just couldn't wait to try it my posca pen was too huge and my gel pen was too tiny. The Posca pen worked for these. But I really don't like that. And I really don't like that. I, I like this. But it's so fine. I need a bolder, broader, white gel pen. For that to show up against that crazy bright background. But I'm learning as I go. You know, It's stuck together a little bit right there that in here you know it's gonna happen it happens when you move paint all over like that not colors i would typically pick for myself i love the industrialness of it i think if i would have used a little bit of teal and i still can go back with this teal that's a little bright maybe this vintagey teal against that orange and black again very vintage industrial feel with those colors so i still can add layer upon layer until i'm happy with it love these colors i have a smaller 
circle maker. I don't know where it is just now. But so the, these are the laundry thing again. But I have a smaller one that works really well with it so that they're not all the same and it adds another layer of interest. Look at how cool that is. It's almost like a tie dye spatter, almost like a watercolor. Just really, really fun. I did some scra scraping and scratching on this one with a tiniest of tiny crochet hooks. And I was just pulling the color out from the center. And that's where the scraping marks came from. More pastels. They're actually neons, but with that teal all around, that soft vintage teal, it kind of makes them look. And because they all mixed together, I got these sort of muddyish, grayish, and it tones the whole thing down. These are all the same colors as this as this but I added this teal and just kind of mucked them all around and these these were all done separately allowed to dry and then painted over with a different color and these were the same way the pink was dry and then I did the yellow where here everything was still wet thus the muddiness but I like it it worked it tones down that hyper hot pink a bit and, and again it's just a different look and I, I quite like it Woo! this one's messy wow there's a lot going on there so I'll probably throw white paint on here or black paint on here just to tone that down a bit and then doodle on top of it Woo! she bright too wowzer just fun wavy summery cool things that's what happens because this whole page except for a little bit of the black are these these two lang nickel colors this one is just called aqua uh, but they're both glossy paints and they stick together even these have been dry for days and days and days beautiful i wish i wouldn't have been so messy and gotten black where the black didn't belong maybe i can paint over it and hide that a little bit because i really like these colors and so far that is that is all she wrote those are all the pages that i have done so far in here and flipping through it is every bit as cool as I thought it was going to be. I'm so jazzed that I finally did it. I may do some more where there's big chunks of a lot of white paper. I will probably do several more painty pages. Because there's plenty of room, even on these brighter ones, if I wanted to, to write in where the paint is. I can certainly do that. Or I can make these art pages and these journal pages. I can... The, you know, the possibilities are just all entirely up to me. I get to pick, and I love that about any project. If you haven't seen the This Inspires Me on my process of, you know, it's, it's just me painting, throwing paint around. But you might like it. I'll link that below. Until we meet again, I want to show you something. So I always tell you to go love up your beastlies and keep them safe and whatnot and i show you pictures of my beastlies but today i'm going to show you a picture not really a picture i'm going to just show you my mom brought bitsy a new toy today here are all the bits that i had to cut off from this one toy just one little toy had all these essentially choking hazards plus there was four of the plastic hang tags you know the things that secure tags to things those were on here too, I wonder where they went. But these are all choking hazards, especially for a little dog, but for any dog. Cut these little parts off. Bitsy was trying so hard to cut this off herself, chew this off, that was the first thing she went. It's a little pig, and it's a little pig tail. This was how it was hanging at the store. Bitsy doesn't need that. It didn't have, it had not one tag, but two tags. These are choking hazards. Can you imagine getting this stuck in your throat? 
And not all dogs are smart enough to spit them out. You know, they just keep chewing and chewing and chewing and it, or by accident goes down their throat. These are the little piggy's front feet. And they're just little pieces of felt. She'd have had those off in five seconds. And of course, the little plastic bits. So when you get your beastly some new toys, make sure to make them safe for your beastlies because they deserve all the care they can get. Matek at the lake, out for now.